Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be the long awaited video, the Q&A about my dogs. So this first dog that you are seeing licking my face, <laughs> this is Jackal. If you have been subscribed to me for a long time, then you know very well who Jackal is. He is my little baby. This was my very first dog that I ever had in my life and he's just my little prince. I love him so much. Um, so a little bit of um, information on Jackal. This is basically going to be a Q&A on Jackal and also on my new puppy, which I will show you her in a second. She's just kind of running around rampant right now. Um, so yeah, Jackal is a Chihuahua Terrier mix. And as you can see by his fur, he is Brindle. So that's just kind of the um, pattern he has. And he doesn't have too long of hair, but he is my little soft bubbers. Um, I got him back in 2012. He was like my graduation present, I guess, because literally all the graduation money I got when I graduated high school, I literally spent all of it on getting a dog. So that is how I ended up with Jackal. I, she's chewing on my background. Avril. So a little bit of information about Jackal is that he was a rescue dog. I did rescue him from an abusive home. He does struggle with a lot of aggression towards other people and other dogs. Um, except with me and my family he's fine with, but like any other person he doesn't know or dogs he doesn't know, he gets very, very aggressive. So that's just kind of a background on him. Um, he's very, very sweet towards me. He is definitely very protective of me and he is just my absolute best, best, best friend. I absolutely love him so much. When I took him to the vet, I tried to figure out how old he was because I don't know how old he is exactly. And they said that he is six years old, so next year he will be seven. So he's getting to be an old boy, so that means when I got him, he was around two-ish, I'm pretty sure. And he's... He's getting to be an old boy. Look at his white face. Oh, my old baby. Oh, my little Jackalberry. Yeah, and he weighs about 10 pounds, 10, 11 pounds. Um, and his all-time favorite thing to do is run around like an idiot and sleep. Right, honey? Yeah, okay. You're such a good boy. Oh, cuddles, cuddles. So, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys Jackal first, and then I will show you my puppy, and then I will answer all of the questions that you guys gave me on my Q&A on my Facebook page. So, let's go ahead and get to it, and I will go try to find my puppy. <laughs> One second. Okay, guys, and here is my puppy. Oh my gosh, she, she doesn't like to be held. She just wants to run. Um, so, yeah, this is my new puppy. Her name is Avril. She hates being held. This is sad. Um, <laughs> Stop it. This is what she looks like for everyone wondering. She is a chihuahua. Oh my gosh. <laughs> She's a chihuahua. <laughs> She is a Chihuahua Pomeranian mix. A lot of people ask me what kind of dog she is, and I said it in the vlog, my like when I brought her home, but nobody apparently watched the vlog because everyone was asking me what kind of dog she is. So yeah, she is a Chihuahua Pomeranian mix. So she is a beautiful chocolate brown color, and then she has white on her chest, and she has a cute little brown nose and green eyes. <laughs> Oh my gosh, she is a little demon. She was born September 21st of this year, so she is about nine to 10 weeks old, and she is just a little freaking hellion, I swear to God. Um, so, and this is my very first, she is a girl, I should have said that. Uh, she is a girl, so this is my very first girl dog. I've never had a girl dog before, I've only ever had boys. Uh, Jack was a boy, obviously. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna kick this right off and start with some of the questions that you guys had about her. Um, I don't think I'll be able to hold her this whole time because all she just wants to do is um, run around. <laughs> So yeah, one of the very first questions is, how did you get the name Avril? So her name is Avril, A-V-R-I-L, and obviously, if you guys know, I am a huge diehard fan of Avril Lavigne, the singer, so I decided to name her after the singer, Avril Lavigne. So her name is Avril. Um, perfect girl name. It was between Avril or Monroe, and I decided to go with Avril because I just thought it fit her. She's so cute. Um, so yeah, that's where I got the name. Uh, one of the next questions about her is where did you, hey, 
One of the next questions I got is where did you find her? So basically my hairdresser, the one who does my hair, because I do get my hair done professionally at a salon, um, my hairdresser has um, her dog who, was, who wasn't fixed and her parents' dog is also not fixed, so a boy and a girl, and I was getting my hair done one day and she was talking about how she thought her dog was pregnant. And, you know, I'm kind of like eavesdropping, kind of listening in on the conversation. I was like, oh, really? Like, are you are you planning on selling? Like, what are you going to do with the puppies? It was a total accident how her dog got pregnant. Like, she doesn't breed dogs. She didn't want to mate her dog. It was basically just like a hookup that happened and her dog ended up pregnant. So that's basically how I decided I was going to get a puppy. Um, I was pretty much decided on getting a puppy back in like the beginning of August when we knew that she was pregnant. Um, so basically her dog ended up having four puppies, Avril being one of them, and they were all girls. And I kind of wanted a girl dog just because I've always had boy dogs, so I wanted something a little bit different. She did not want to be held anymore, and she keeps chewing on my friggin' background, so if you're seeing it move, it's not me, I swear. So the other question was what made you want another dog, and basically I've always wanted another dog. I always wanted to have three dogs. Obviously you guys know I don't have Motley anymore. I lost him when me and my ex broke up. He took him from me. So I just have Jackal and Avril now, um, but yeah, I always wanted another dog and the opportunity was there that, you know, there was going to be a puppy, so I figured that would be like the perfect once in a lifetime opportunity to get another dog and have a puppy and raise her, you know, basically from eight weeks old up until, you know, whenever. A lot of people are assuming that I got another dog to replace Motley, and that is complete and utter bullshit. Um, I was gonna get her back when I still have Motley back in August, so um, I was gonna have three dogs, but now I just have two, so yeah, that's that. Uh, the other question is, what will the dogs do while you're at work? Well, since getting a puppy, and since it is a ton of work, um, I basically cut down my hours at work by way more than half. So I do not work that much anymore. Basically what I do is I have the entire week off and I will work weekends. And when I am working, I will work a short morning shift and then go back and work a short night shift. So technically doubles, I guess you could say. So I mean, I'm getting a... I guess a decent amount of hours, not as much as I used to, um, but I'm still working, I just don't work as much so I can focus on her and getting her potty trained and trained and all that good stuff. So it's not like I'm leaving her here alone for eight hours a day all week while I'm at work. That's just not realistic with the puppy. So I did get my work schedule figured out so she is a-okay on that. The next question is what kind of food do your dogs eat? So Jackal, he is on the Merrick brand, the small breed adult food. Um, I put him on that back in I think 2014, so it's been a couple years since he's been on it and I absolutely love it. It was actually a recommendation from one of my subscribers to put him on Merrick brand because he was on like Beneful and Credibites and that shit is just like toxic as fuck. So I'm glad I switched him to Merrick. So that is what he's been on and that's what he will continue to be on. And then Avril, she is on a different food because obviously she is a puppy. Um, she is on the Diamond Natural Small Breed Puppy Food. So that's what she's eating right now. Um, that's what I gave Motley when Motley was a puppy because I, my, I got Motley around when he was like nine months old. So he was still eating the puppy food. So I really like it. So I just kind of carried that over into her. The other question is, do you take them potty at the same time? Right now, no, I do not. The reason for that is because when I take them out at the same time, she, because Avril absolutely loves Jackal. She just adores him. So every time I take him out at the same time, instead of her focusing on going to the bathroom, she just wants to play with him. So what I'll do is I'll take her out first and let her go to the bathroom and then I'll take Jackal out and he'll go and then they play outside for a little bit. But um, right now, no, I want her to be potty trained first. The other question is, and I got a lot of this one, is how is her relationship with Jackal? So as you guys know, Jackal, um, he's very unpredictable because he is a little bit dog aggressive. But the thing with Jackal is he's dog aggressive towards bigger dogs. He does not like bigger dogs at all. Any dog that is just a little bit bigger than him, uh-uh, he will not get along with them. It doesn't matter what it is, he won't do it. So bigger dogs, absolutely not. Um, smaller dogs he does okay with that um, as long as they're fixed, especially boy dogs. So he's he's very weird. So if like it's if it's a smaller boy dog and they're fixed, 
he, he does okay, but if they're not fixed, no. He gets like jealous that they have balls or something. Um, so obviously when I brought Avril home, I had to do the introduction and I had to do it very, very carefully and I had to, you know, really, really observe them. And I still do. I never leave them alone in the same room right now just because I want them to, you know, bond more and I want him to be more comfortable with having her around. Um, so I do still watch them very closely, but they are doing absolutely amazing together. Um, there was a few instances where Jack would get a little bit jealous and like raise his hair at her, especially if she would go after his toys or try to get into his bed. Um, but I mean, he has not attacked her. He has not bit her. Um, he just gets a little bit jealous, but that was like the first week I had her and now they're doing really, really great together. Um, they play, they take naps next to each other. He even shared his bed one time and he is sharing his toys with her. So it'll probably be a couple months before I can, you know, leave them together in the same room alone without supervision, if you know what I mean. What are some things about Avril's personality that you love? Oh my gosh, one of my all-time favorite things about her, and she gets this from her mom, her birth mom, um, every time you talk to her, she tilts her head. She does the head tilt. She literally tilts her head at everything. Like if I'm watching TV, she'll tilt her head. If I talk to her, she'll tilt her head. If Jackal's eating, she'll tilt her head. And her, her birth mom does the exact same thing. It is so cute. So um, I really, I love that about her personality. She's just, she's so funny. I don't it's hard to describe. I, I love that. The next question is how different is it from having, how different is it having a puppy compared to an older dog? Holy crap, you guys. Having a puppy is extremely, extremely difficult. I never, ever thought it was gonna be this hard. This is my first puppy, never had one before. When I got Jackal, he was already potty trained. So, you know, I've never had to potty train, I've never had to crate train, I've never had to do any of that stuff. So this is all new to me. Literally everything Jackal does, she does the complete opposite. Like she, cause she doesn't know, you know, she's a baby. She's still learning, you know, how to go in her crate. She's still learning when to go to the bathroom outside. Um, but it's very different. It's very, very time consuming and it's very stressful. Um, but the one thing I've definitely learned from this is patience and understanding. Because, you know, if you think about it, she was in the womb not too long ago. So everything she is experiencing right now is so new to her. So me getting frustrated isn't helping her at all because she doesn't know. Like, you know, if I were to yell at her or punish her for going to the bathroom inside, she has no idea why because, you know, she doesn't know. So, um, it's definitely been an experience. I probably won't ever get another puppy puppy again just because it's just been like, oh, like so overwhelming, you know what I mean? But I have learned a lot, you know, about puppies, about taking care of a puppy, and I've definitely learned patience because patience is something that I lack greatly. So I've learned to have a lot of, a lot of patience. One of the next questions is how are you potty training her? Um, basically what I do is I take her out every hour, um, every time after she eats and plays, and um, uh, every time she wakes up from like a long nap or in the morning and right before bed. So I'm going in and out outside all day. That's literally what I do all day is I'm just going in and out outside. And for when I do take her out and when she does successfully go to the bathroom outside, I give her a piece of overcooked hot dog um, as a treat because my vet said, give her something absolutely delicious for when she goes outside. So that way when she goes outside and goes to the bathroom, she's getting a really, really, really good snack and she knows that that's good. So that's basically how I've been doing it. It's going pretty well. We've gone about three days so far without an accident in the house. I mean, she's tinkled a little bit in her crate um, just from like me sleeping at night and not taking her out like in the middle of the night, you know what I mean? But she's been doing really, really good. What do you do when she has an accident in the house? When my vet told me this, when, it, when you're training a puppy, it's all about positivity and not negativity. Because if they have an accident in the house and you notice it five minutes later and you yell at them for it, they don't know what you're yelling at them for. Do you know what I mean? So I don't yell at her. Like if you know she were to have an accident and I didn't catch her in the act, I just clean it up and move on about my day. I'm not gonna sit there and yell at her because she's not gonna understand why I'm yelling at her. And then she's gonna develop a fear of me. So I don't do that. When If she does have an accident in the house and I catch her, she's sorry about my background. I guess I shouldn't have filmed one today. Um, if, if I see her like squatting or about to take a poop, I make a loud noise like, ah! 
like or something like that and then I'll take her outside right away and have her finish outside um, so I that's just how I'm doing it right now and it's been working really well and I feel like the hot dogs are really really helping um, and I'm very very grateful that I have hardwood floors I do not like hardwood floors because obviously when I when you watch my videos there is an echo and that's kind of a pain in the ass but having a puppy in hardwood floors is perfect because it's really easy cleanup how do you correct her when she chews on furniture or shoes or table legs um, same thing as the potty training if I see her doing it I'll I'll make a loud noise like ah, like she's not supposed to do that and I'll give her a toy and say good girl for chewing on the toy so that's how I do that a lot of weird noises like my neighbors are probably like what the fuck is she doing so I'm like ah, ah, like all day I don't know it's weird the next question is how do you plan on socializing Avril when Jackal already has issues um so I do plan on socializing her a great deal whenever there's people around or other dogs around I will be more than willing to like have them socialize and interact and have them hold her and have other dogs play with her. Um, I do want to kind of get her into like a socializing program because I have those for puppies or whatever but I don't really know how to go about that so I'm going to talk to my vet about that as well. The other question is how is she doing being separated from her siblings? So as you guys know she was one of the four puppies um, so they were all girls so she had three other sisters and she absolutely loved them but she's doing really really well. I think the main reason is because I have Jackal so she's like oh look another dog I can play with so that's going really really well. The other question is have they fought? No, no like attacking or no serious fights or anything like that. Um, they play fight like they play or whatever but they no aggression or anything like that. The next question is how big is Avril going to get? Um, she, I think she's going to be about jackal size, maybe smaller. Um, her dad is purebred Pomeranian and he's a very tall Pomeranian. Like I've never seen a Pomeranian so tall in my life. Um, so I don't know if she's going to take after her dad or her mom. Her mom looks just like Jackal, but she's a lot smaller because she's three quarters Chihuahua and he's, I think Jackal's more terrier. So, I mean, it could go either way. I have a feeling she's gonna be tall though. That's just my, that's just my opinion. She's being so good right now, you guys. She's sleeping right now. Oh my God, thank you, Jesus, I can film. So far, what was your worst puppy experience? <sighs> so, you guys, I had um, a breakdown. <laughs> my very first breakdown because um, this is when I was trying to work my regular work hours while having a puppy and there was one night where I had to work an eight hour shift the next day and she she used to scream at night and I'm, I'm not talking like like she would scream like at the top of her lungs because she hated being confined like in her playpen or in her crate. So that has probably been the worst part is trying to get her to stop screaming. So basically I had my mom take her for, your f for a few days so I could finish off like my long work week or whatever until I got my new work schedule and my mom was able to get her used to her crate. So luckily she does not scream anymore. She does whimper and cry a little bit but no, none of the screaming or anything. Um, so yeah, it's been going better but that was horrible. Horrible horrible when you are exhausted from working a nine-hour day and you got to work another nine-hour day the next day And she is just screaming. Oh, it's horrible guys. It's it's horrible like puppy screams are not not a good time Will you be teaching her any tricks? Absolutely I'm gonna try to get her to do all of the tricks that Jackal can do and I will try to film it So it'll probably be in vlogs or separate videos. So she will what does Jackal do when Avril is doing something naughty? So Jackal has been with me since 2012. So he very much knows my routine. He knows what's acceptable and what's not acceptable in the house. So whenever, whenever he sees Avril have an accident in the house, he goes, and he looks at me like, I didn't do it, mom, I didn't do it. So he gets, he knows, he knows what's bad and he knows, you know, you know, he just, he knows. Um, another thing that's very interesting about Jackal is when Avril is chewing on something, like my table leg, when she was chewing on it, Jackal went, walked up to her and showed his teeth at her. And I was kind of worried because I thought it was like an aggression thing, but I looked it up and asked my vet about it. And basically when Jackal is showing his teeth at her, like his hair isn't raised, he just goes up to her and shows his teeth like that. Basically, it's him trying to teach her manners. I'm pretty sure that's what it said. So, yeah, whenever she's kind of doing something she's not supposed to do, he'll kind of show his teeth at her a little bit. So, yeah, that's just kind of what I've noticed what he does. 
This other question is, when I got my dog last year, people wanted to tell me how to raise her. Do people do that to you and how do you block it out? That is honestly one of my biggest fucking pet peeves, is when I get a dog or a puppy or a car or a makeup product, people will tell me how to use it. Um, and that's fucking annoying to me. Like I do ask for advice because this is my first puppy, but none of the advice, none of the advice that I've been given has been helpful in any way because she just does the complete opposite. So I mean, I don't find it beneficial at all, and I actually find it quite annoying. Like in my vlogs, if I'm doing something with her, people will be like, "Um, you're not supposed to do that." Nah, 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 nah. Like it's it's insane. Like ever since I got a puppy, everyone on the fucking internet became a veterinarian. Like, does Avril have any special markings on her that you love? Oh my gosh, so when when I heard that my hairdresser's dog was going to have puppies, I loved her dog because her dog is Chihuahua Terrier mix like Jackal and she has beautiful, beautiful striking green hazel eyes and I was so hoping that one of the puppies was going to have her eyes and um, when I first went and saw the puppies, their eyes were still closed, like they were baby, baby, baby. So I've been, I've been with Avril since she's been like two weeks old. I would go and visit her and spend time with her way before her eyes were even open and when I went and visited the puppies for the first time that's when I kind of made my decision on which one that I wanted and you know I was holding each puppy and I was petting them and then I picked up little Avril and I swear to god she could fit in my hands like this and I picked her up and I was looking at her and I was like petting her little head and I look at I look at my hairdresser and I'm like I think this is the one I, I just had a feeling, you know what I mean? And I was like, this is the one. And lo and behold, she was the only puppy out of all her siblings that got her mom's green eyes. So I absolutely love her eyes. They are so beautiful because Jackal has brown eyes and um, Avril has her mom's beautiful green eyes and she also has a cute little brown nose. And she got her dad's fur because her dad's a Pomeranian so she's very, very fluffy um, like her dad but she has her mom's eyes and face. Oh, it's so cute. So um, yeah, that's probably my favorite and I like that all four of her paws are white. Uh, I just think that's kind of cute. How did you pick the names for your dog? So basically every time I get a dog I stick with band names or singer names. Um, so Jackal was named after the band Jackal obviously. When I had Motley he was named after Motley Crue and Avril was my first girl dog so of course I wanted to name her after my all-time favorite singer which is Avril Lavigne. Does she like car rides? She does like car rides. I thought she was going to be like Jackal because when I first got Jackal, he got car sick a lot. He would always vomit in the car every time we would drive. Um, but Avril's doing really great. She likes it. She doesn't cry. She doesn't scream. Um, she just kind of sits there and does her thing. She doesn't even mind it at all. Are you planning on getting any more animals like maybe a cat? Also, what happened to the cat that you had in your vlog a while back that you were going to take in? Um, right now, no more animals, absolutely not. I'm just really trying to focus on raising a puppy right now. Maybe another dog down the line, but we'll have to see about that. Um, but right now, not right now. Um, definitely not a cat, uh, just because that would just be a whole nother experience that I can't take on right now because I have a puppy. Um, also, the cat that I showed in my vlog that I was going to take in a while ago, the vlog that you saw her in the 4th of July vlog, that was the last time I ever saw her. Because she was a stray and she would come up to me almost every single day. She was such a sweetie. Um, and I never saw her again after the 4th of July. And I pray to God nothing bad happened to her. So I don't know if maybe someone else took her in or maybe she did belong to somebody and she just went home. I don't know, but I have not seen her since. The other question is, how is Jackal's belly doing? Aw, thank you for asking. Um, so in one of my vlogs, I had to take Jackal to the vet because he had this weird rash on his tummy. Um, he, it's doing awesome. It's totally healed up now. I don't, I forget what the vet said. She said something about how it could have been like a bug bite or just an allergy or something like that. So it's doing a lot better and I have like a little spray for it in case it ever does come back. And she also told me that I could give my dog Benadryl, which I didn't know, so that's very interesting. How does Avril react when you leave the house or go to work? Um, she gets very upset whenever I leave to go somewhere or I am going to work. She will scream because I'm not in her sight. Um, so I feel like she has grown attached to me for sure. 
because whenever I put her in her crate and I go into the kitchen or something, she will start screaming because she can't see me. So when I do, because I do like to put her in her crate for a couple hours a day just to get her more used to it. Or when she takes a long nap, I will put her in her crate so she knows it's okay to be in her crate, you know what I mean? Um, so whenever I do that, I kind of just take her in whatever room I'm in and leave her there. But when obviously when I'm going to work, I put her in her crate and she does scream like she wants to be within sight of me. Are you going to get her fixed? Absolutely. She will be getting fixed around when she is five months old. So that is definitely going to happen. Are you going to let Jackal and Avril mate and is Jackal fixed? Jackal is definitely fixed. He was fixed about a month after... He was fixed in May and then he I got him in June. So he, he's been fixed since 2012 and I would never ever let them mate if he wasn't fixed and she wasn't fixed. I would never let that happen because you know there is already such an overpopulation of animals in the world and I feel like that just wouldn't be a good thing. I wouldn't be able to handle it. So they will definitely not be mating and she is definitely going to be getting fixed. Does she have any, does Avril have any fears? No, she doesn't. She is a puppy and fear is definitely a learned thing. Um, and she's not scared of anything right now. Like I can openly vacuum and she's fine with it. You know, I can do whatever and she's fine with it. Um, so yeah, she's not scared of anything and she's definitely not shy. She's definitely a little, a little holly and that's for sure. How are you adjusting to being a new mom? Like I said, it's been very, very difficult and really trying to adjust to this whole lifestyle of having a puppy. So um, it's it's going better now, like now that she is getting a routine with me, um, because since getting my work schedule completely fixed, um, we are able to get a routine down every day. So it is going better. Uh, she does have a long way to go. Obviously, she's only nine weeks old. Um, so yeah, but it, it's going better, but it's very, very, very difficult, very time consuming, and I don't sleep anymore. <laughs> Do you take her to the vet and get her properly vaccinated? Absolutely, she is going to the vet every, is it every three weeks? Yeah, every three weeks to get like her boosters and her dewormer and blah, 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 all that other stuff. So she goes to the vet quite regularly. Um, so she's going every three weeks and then she'll get her rabies. And then when she gets older, she'll be able to get fixed and things like that. Another thing that's very different with Avril is that she has Pomeranian fur. And I've never had a high maintenance dog as far as I've never had a high maintenance dog as far as like fur care because Jackal is short haired, Motley was short haired, so I've never had like a fluffy dog before. So um, I am going to get her groomed. Um, that is definitely going to be a thing. That way it's just a way for her to get socialized and for her to meet the groomer. But um, I will take her to get groomed a couple times and then I'll probably do it myself. So that's another thing that I'm trying to learn is how to care for a Pomeranian type fur, you know what I mean? Because it's very, very different. Um, obviously they're fluffy, their hair is longer, so it does have a tendency to mat up a lot quicker. How much did you pay for both dogs? Um, I don't, that's not really a question I feel comfortable answering because everyone has their own opinions on the prices of dogs or what's a good price for a dog or what you should be paying for a dog. Um, Jackal, I found him on Craigslist under like the rescue like pets and like pets in general in my area. That's how I found him and that's where I got him from. Yeah, I'm just, I'm not going to get into prices because it's just, everyone has their own opinion, but, um, and I feel like price shouldn't even matter as long as the dog is going to a loving, caring home, then it really doesn't matter what you paid, whether it be 500, 700, 20 bucks, free, like it really, it just, it doesn't matter. How do you find time to play with Avril but give Jackal attention to? Um, see at the beginning it was quite difficult because she did take up a lot of my time so now like a month later about a month later it's going great because they entertain each other basically like I'll be playing with her and then Jackal will come up or I'll be playing with Jackal and she'll come up and then they just start playing together anyone come up in line oh Jackal wanted mommy attention um so yeah they basically entertain each other a lot of the time they play a lot together so um yeah I don't really have to worry about that too much so yeah, they spend a lot of time together. Are you tired, baby? Oh, take a nap. Oh, you're such a baby. Come on, look at you, baby. Yeah. Oh, baby on. Baby on. 
Another question that I get is what are their nicknames? So Jackal has a ton of them, Jackalberry, um, Puff, Perf, um, Idiot, <laughs> Little Prince, um, so he has a ton of nicknames. And then Avril's nicknames that she has as of right now is Pretty Princess, um, Tootsie, Tootsie Pop, Toots, and just Avril. And then my mom calls her Abby a lot. So I'm still trying to get her used to her name. She doesn't fully know that her name is Avril yet, but she's getting there and she's getting so big. Look at her and her cute little tummy. Oh, you're so cute, you're so cute, you're so cute. Okay, everyone, so that is everything that I have for the Q&A about my two dogs, Mr. Jackal here and little Avril down there who is sleeping. I'll try to wake her up so I can show you guys one more little close-up of her cute little face that I have to take her out. So, yeah, that is basically all the questions that I got for this Q&A. Hopefully it was helpful and hopefully it gave you a little more insight on who Jackal is and who Avril is. I'm sure a ton of you already know who Jackal is, but in case any of my subscribers are new and you have no idea about Jackal, um, this just just kind of gives you a little bit of an idea of who he is and things like that. Your tongue's cold. Your tongue is cold. Cute baby boy. Oh, tickle berry. My monster boy. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more of Jackal and Avril, definitely make sure you watch my vlogs because I show them in every single vlog that I have. I have an entire playlist of my vlogs and things like that. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a huge thumbs up. Avril, do you want to come say bye? Can you say bye to the camera? Can you show everybody your cute little face? Yeah. Can you say give a huge thumbs up and subscribe to my mom's channel because she puts out videos quite often and I'm a cute little puppy. Yeah. Oh, good girl. Oh, good girl. Yeah. Can you say bye bye? I'm kissing. Oh, her little coffee breath. Okay, guys, so that's everything that I have for today. And make sure you thumbs up and subscribe like Avril said. And we will see you all in our next video. Bye, guys.